everybody, it's Eric Weinstein from Live Balloons Party Entertainment, and I am here today to teach you this super awesome duck swimming on a pond. It is five balloons, it comes together pretty quickly. You can actually take the eyes off of it to take it down to just three balloons where you can draw the eyes on this yellow piece. So, uh, you know, I like to show you the best version of things, and this way you can take off, you know, parts to make it quicker. But it does come together pretty quick, even with five balloons. So the balloons, let me just put this down, we're going to need today are a orange 260, a white 260, a light blue 260, yellow 260, and a black 160. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the orange 260. We're going to inflate, leaving about, I would say maybe a seven, eight finger tail. We're just going to make, you know, the cheeks and then the ducks, what's that called, the duck bill. All right, so inflate, tie it off, squeeze a little bit of air down. I'm going to make a loop, followed by another loop. This is just the uh, cheeks of the duck, so you know, however big you want to make the cheeks, that's how big it should be. Next, I'm going to make a tiny pinch twist. All right, a tiny pinch twist behind the loops. And now I'm going to have this piece coming forward. See how you have the two loops, the pinch twist, and now I'm going to make the bill going forward. I like to put a piece in the back here to really stabilize the head structure. So I squeeze the air and I'm just going to make a giant bend and I can squeeze as I'm pulling it in. This is shift shape and make it soft. All right, so one loop, put these coming forward and make it squeeze it. Oop. Squeeze it, oh, get a little soft, but I make another loop right there. Squeeze that, and now I can this card. And there you go, we have the duck's bill. Next, take a yellow 260. You want to leave a longer tail, so I would say about eight fingers. Let me see, let me put my little skinny fingers here. Five, yeah, definitely eight fingers. Take the nozzle, lock it between the cheeks. Make about a th uh, three finger bubble. Uh, so three finger, then a bubble. We're gonna make a tiny pinch twist at the top of the head. We're gonna make two tiny loops, like little flower petals, just to give a little, little, little poof on the top. I always think of Elvis when I think of the top head poof. So think about it like that. I always think you give a little, a little swag when you have the poof. It makes the, even the, the sculpture looks a little, you know, stylish. That, that's just my observation. So, we're gonna make a, another bubble, same size as the first one, going back down into the pinch twists. All right. I'm just fixing my lower jaw. I think I made it a little too soft. Always on filming, the stuff happens to me, it's crazy. So we have the pinch twist in back, two loops, bill coming out the front. Go down, I would say about five or six fingers. Make twist off the neck. Make two pinch twists. Careful with the proportions. If you can, you know, use just enough, we can have a nice big tail coming out. So make about a three finger body. Like I try to do this whole body in one balloon. So I'm trying to get this in one balloon. So now we make identical bubble going back up to the first set of pinch twists. And remember I have this here, pinch twist in back. All right, lock it into the front. Two pinch twists in front, pinch twists in back. Now I'm gonna bring it, make a loop under. That's gonna be the under part of the duct that where you're gonna see the bot attached into the pond, okay? So I lock it into the back pinch twist, and now I take the excess, and watch this. I'm gonna twist off a little bubble. When you have no space, like, you know, there's no more balloon left, if you can get a little bubble, and then lock that little bubble into the back pinch twist, kaboom, you got it all done with one balloon. So at this point, you can hand it to the kid. Two balloon duck, we're done. You're welcome. Awesome, isn't it? Two balloons to achieve this look. You could take a white paint marker, color in some eyes, and you're done. But I'm ready to show you the next level stuff, okay? Because this is uh, the YouTube channel with the coolest stuff. Now, there's a lot of cool people out there. But uh, this is just something that I think, you know, is very usable. And like I said, you always want to learn the best version of something and then take steps of it. So next, I'm going to take a white 260. 
tie it off. Make two white pinch twists. These are those pinch twist eyes that I love. Make two white pinch twists. I take the black 160. Inflate only a little bit because you don't need that much. Whoa! Use my pump. I'm getting old. We're going to make two little bubbles. So one bubble. Twist off another bubble that same size. See that? I'm going to take that little nozzle and I'm going to bring the nozzle right in to where that first twist was. So see how they're nice together? I'm going to pop it. Oh. Edit, edit, alert, edit. Hold on, easier way. Two bubbles. Okay, pull the nozzle in. What was I thinking? Trying to knock it off. Look at that. Line it up against the pinch twist. Pull it into the bubble. And discard the black. And there we go, two cute little eyes. See, I want the black smaller. It gives it a cuter look. I discard that piece. I put them right up against where the bill is and lock them in. All right, you just can. Beautiful. All right, I got it. Yeah, there we go. So, look how cute that is. See what I did is, I pulled his eyes down, and then I pulled the excess, right? I wrapped it around the loop right here, brought it up through the middle, and I'm gonna go past the black part of the eyes, like I don't wanna go through it, because they're gonna pinch twist. I lock it, you know, pull it back to lock it in, and go down again. So that's how I got the eyes to stay. I bring them down, I take the excess, I pull it down, up through the center and down again. That's how I get the eyes kind of to stick anywhere I want them. I lock it right into the balloon. So next, if you want to swimming on a pond, take a light blue 260 and just make a flower petal. I would say I did uh, six flowers. I mean, yeah, six, six loops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I could just you know tie the body with this, but I don't want to offset the yellow. So I can discard this piece. So now you need to just get to make it stay on there. Get a yellow. I mean, you can use a strap. Pretty much, you know, if you have a yellow strap laying around, lock it into the flower base. Bring it up through the center of the duct and back down to the bottom, you know, not too hard. You just want it secured, see that? So it just goes right there and it secures them and you're using the excess. And I'm sure everybody got, you know, if you're balloon twisting, you practice a lot. I'm sure you have some excess laying around that you have nothing to do with, but guess what? Make it bracelets, make it bracelets. So, and we can put them right there on your wrist. And like I said, if you want, you can know, just take off the eyes and just use the orange, yellow, and blue. Super awesome, super cool, you do parties, I'm telling you, this is the kind of stuff that gets kids excited, and more importantly, the parents who have the money, and then they hire you out, so I like to have my quick hits always ready when I wanna get the party going. And if I just gotta make you know, simple stuff first, and then you know maybe the seventh kid, boom, hit this, I'm telling you, everybody, everybody will be just sitting there wondering how you made this kind of balloon animal. Now it's time for the super awesome speed challenge. So. I got my phone ready. Let me reset the clock. All right, ready, go. Okay, oh. Okay, let's make the bill first. Long, I'm just picturing there's a long kids in line. I'm at a block party, music's pumping. Parents are sitting around having fun. And all eyes are on me. What is this balloon twister? going to make. Little they know, awesomeness is coming. Okay, 36 seconds. Got it. A little 
small. My proportions are a little small in this one, but that's all right. Smaller means cuter sometimes, in most cases. Huh. All right, rocking the tail. Boom. 55 seconds, 58 seconds. Boom, one, uh, two balloon duck, draw on the eyes. But I always make the best version. Mm. Really pinch twist for the eyes. Okay. Perfect. Eyes. So they're even. Think you got them even. Alright. Move them in. Perfect. Rid of this. So if you add pinch twist eyes, I'm at 1 minute 40 seconds just to have the pinch twist eyes in. and 28 seconds of the first round. The Titan of Twist, Eric Weinstein, has scored the knockout. Two minutes and 38 seconds. Not bad. So it's still considered line work, because I think line work is two to three minutes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But still, we take off the eyes. We don't even have to put the pinch twist on. Just draw on the white part, or just draw on the yellow part. Either way, it's under three minutes. I mean, I might have a heart attack, and I'll probably get resuscitated in the party. I'm getting old for this. But for everybody else out there, have some fun with it. Use it to parties. If you like my stuff, you know where to go. Bye, everybody. Hey, everybody. Take a look right here. I took the duck and I supersized him. I gave him 646 blue for the pond. I used 350s for the rest of the body. Maybe just for the eyes right here, I use black 260s. But, you know, I don't know. They do say that, you know, bigger is better. So if this is totally true, then this will be the design that gets a line of kids ready to get your business card to give to their parents. And if you have the excess sticking down, they can either leave it on or maybe just twist it off. Wrap a 350 around the head and voila, you have an awesome duck hat and little kids at the mall walking around with this. How cute is this? I'm Eric Weinstein. If you like my stuff, head on over to www.liveballoons.com. Got some awesome videos and PDFs for sale. Um, I'm always about taking this art to the next level. So head on over there now. And if you like my stuff, uh, stay tuned for the next creation. Bye.